Hi, I'm Mike Capizola from the Investing Channel, and you're watching Pink Diamond, the show where we help you find the diamonds in the rough of the pink sheet and small cap market. This week, we're looking at a market that has only recently sprung to life, and though you may have heard of it, you may not know exactly what it is and how it works. That marketplace is NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. NFTs are a form of crypto or digital assets that have suddenly become big news as artists and musicians have converted their work into them and then sold them for substantial sums. NFTs can be thought of as a digitized certificate of ownership and signify that the version of an image, song, or message that the NFT holder owns is the original of that version of the work. It's like owning an original painting by an old master and not just a print or reproduction of the same. NFTs are created using programmable cryptocurrencies known as tokens and they're verified on that currency's blockchain, which guarantees their authenticity. The cryptocurrency Ethereum is usually used as the host, and the currency and its blockchain were designed specifically to facilitate this type of tokenization with smart contracts. NFTs don't just have to be over single digitized works of art or other intellectual property, and a whole series of work could be tokenized to create the equivalent of a set of digital trading cards. The smart contract functionality of Ethereum means that if these cards are traded, then a fraction of the sale price could be returned to the originator of the NFT after every transaction. That's a particularly interesting prospect for the collectibles marketplace and for the creators of digital assets that might rise in value. One pink sheet listed company has repositioned itself to take advantage of the interest in NFTs and the wider cryptocurrency markets. And that business is IMD Companies. IMD was formerly a medical diagnostics business headquartered in Florida. The business was established in 1993, but more recently, it has pivoted towards cryptocurrency mining or farming, as it likes to call it, and intends to make acquisitions in the cryptocurrency and tokenization spaces. IMD recently announced that it was expanding its cryptocurrency farming capabilities through the launch of a new facility in Phoenix, Arizona, to complement existing facilities in the San Francisco Bay Area and in Sacramento. And at the same time, it was to offer to create and help commercialize NFTs for clients of the firm. At the end of March, it announced that it was looking at a fourth crypto farming facility in Utah, a site that could expand the company's capabilities by 100-fold through the deployment of new chip technology that IMD technicians in San Francisco were evaluating. Just last week, IMD confirmed that it was reducing the number of its shares in issue by $200 million as part of the restructure and refocusing of the business. All of this activity hasn't gone unnoticed on Wall Street, and Trackstar IQ, our proprietary search tracking database, has identified no fewer than 279 requests for information about IMD companies in recent days. Those searches were made by 184 individual institutional investors, a level of interest that puts IMD in 13th place in our league table of the most searched for OTC tickers. IMD stock has made some pretty impressive gains in the last couple of quarters, for example, it's up by more than 4,000% over the last six months and 1,000% in the last three months, though it has given back 64% over the last month. Trading volumes in the shares have also been noteworthy, with more than 30 million shares changing hands on each of the last five trading days and almost 125 million shares changing on April 22nd with the announcement of the share reduction. IMD Companies has pivoted into a very interesting but very early stage business, and it's one that's likely to be highly competitive too. However, the potential rewards in the sector could be significant. That's no doubt what has attracted the attention of so many Wall Street pros to this very tiny company, which has a market cap of just $53 million. What needs to happen now is for IMD to demonstrate that it can execute its business plan and make money from cryptocurrency farming and NFT creation and marketing. And we should, of course, watch the shares closely for indication that it's doing just that. That's all we have time for today, but as usual, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. And to find out more about our TrackStar IQ data, sign up for our free newsletter at investingchannel.com trackstar.